Hey, what is up? Time for another mass transit commute. This time I'm going to talk about a new feature in 718 that allows you to see a timeline view of your unit test. Mass Transit has really great unit test support, including an in-memory test fixture and a lot of tools to make it so you can test your consumers, sagas, activities, anything you want. Um, in this case, I've created a saga and I've created a consumer. So let's look at the setup up here. I'm, doing a, I'm using the container-based test harness, so I'm adding the saga state machine using the in-memory repository, and I'm adding a consumer. And the workflow is very simple. When an order is received, I want to request the payment and get the payment back. So pretty simple state machine, just has a, an initial order received event, sends a request to the consumer to get the payment, get the money back, all of that sort of just, you know, to show that we have an interaction between a state machine and an external consumer. The consumer is not super complex, pretty basic. Uh, it, 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 really just replies and says, yeah, we got the payment. If it's over a certain amount, it says pending, not even gonna use that. Uh, so we're gonna run the test. And the key here is that we have multiple message interactions. And I wanna show how that is. We're gonna publish a message, which just in memory fires off that order received event. We're expecting that it was consumed and that the Saga harness actually consumed it. We wanna assert that the Saga was created with the order ID and that we have a Saga. Then we're going to call this new test harness extension method called output timeline. We're going to pass a text writer, which in this case I'm using testcontext.out. You could use console.out or anything that you really want. And because I know the operation is done because I've checked the state machine status, I'm going to say go ahead and do it now. And I want to include the address of the endpoints that were sent. So if I run this test, we're going to see this run. You can see that I get all the log output, but boom, right here at the bottom, I get a full timeline view in order of every message that was published, sent, or consumed in this test harness. You can see the order received event was published. It was picked up by the payment state endpoint, which is where that state machine is. That request payment was published out, and I can see the address it was published to. If you were using RabbitMQ, you'd see the topic name, or the exchange name, Azure Service Bus, you'd see the topic name, so on and so forth. And I can see that it was consumed on the request payment endpoint. I can see that it then responded with the payment received, which went back to the payment state endpoint, and then was consumed by that state machine. So this lets you get a really clear view of how messages are being consumed, how the interactions are happening, the time that things are taking, and while it's not quite like an open telemetry thing, this takes no dependencies. You just use the test harness and it's all built in. So I think this is a super useful tool. It's new in 718. I've used it to find things where endpoints were weird or I wasn't sending things correctly. And just in general, a really cool feature to add to mass transit. So definitely check it out. Like I said, 718 was released yesterday, which if you're watching this a month from now, that really doesn't matter. But it's a really cool feature. Definitely check it out. Thanks for joining. We'll catch you next time.